Okay guys, uh, today's video is going to be on how to jailbreak 3.0 on your um, iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, this will only work on iPod Touch first generation, um, iPhone first generation and iPhone 3G. Um, not the 3GS or the iPod Touch 2G. Um, before I start this video, please, please make sure you have read everything from the dev team post. Um, I'm just going to make this uh, one point clear for iPhone users that 3.0 and its jailbreak will be usable by 3G Yellow Snow users once Ultra Snow is released, but not before then. The dev team plans to release Ultra Snow very soon. Um, Ultra Snow is going to replace Yellow Snow, so uh, Ultra Snow is the new unlock basically. So uh, I think that's all the warnings I have for you, but please again. Uh, Make sure you have read the dev team post. Um, I will post. I will put a link to that in the description. So um, once you have read that, um, the post is will uh, look like this. A weird title there, but um, yeah, that's what it is. And um, yeah, this is just rules about everything um, about this jailbreak. So um, once you have read through that, as I said, you're going to need to. Um, go to the other links in the description one is for the 3.0 um, software for iPod Touch um, and um, or you can obviously download um, the others if whatever device you're using um, bearing in mind the warnings that uh, were in the dev team post then the other one is for Pornish Tool 3.0 which is uh, we'll have come up with a page like this and uh, you just need to enter the code and then download the file uh, then you can unzip it and then um, you should have Pornish tool uh, like I have up here so um, firstly what you're going to need to do is plug your uh, device in um, I'm going to be using iPod as I said um, make sure that it is on the uh, official 3.0 firmware just for iPod that is um, iPhones um, be careful okay uh, so once it's on there Open Pornish Tool 3.0, and uh, we'll just wait for this to do its stuff. Okay, so here we are. It, as normal, it opens up with the warning message. We'll click OK to that, and um, then once again, select your device. iPod Touch. Continue. Um, then it's going to search for uh, all your firmwares and A341. So um, this may take a while or it may not do, it depends how many firmwares you've got but I'm going to pause the video because I think I've got quite a lot. So um, I'll come back to you. Okay, so that didn't take very long at all actually. Um, it just found one firmware, which is good. So select that and then continue. Um, it's now going to create an, the uh, iPod software file that you're going to use to restore your iPod Touch with in iTunes. Um, you must have iTunes 8.2 as well. So um, do you want to continue? Yes. And uh, it's now going to start building it. And it will be placed on your desktop. So um, I'll come back to you when this is done. Okay, so as always with this process, it asks you for your um, MacBook password about three quarters of the way through. And um, you, once you've entered that, it just continues a little way, and then it comes up with this screen. And um, as you can see, it has created the custom firmware and placed on your desktop here. So um pops up with this message, has your iPod Touch been pwned before, or uh, does it have the pineapple uh, boot logo? So um, Mine doesn't, so I'm going to click no. Give you some instructions in on uh, how to put it into DFU mode. So just follow them, and um, first of all, turn off the device. So hold the uh, power button, slide to power off, and then it'll go through these pretty quick. So I might not be able to uh, speak to you, but uh, just follow the on-screen instructions, and uh, you should uh, get through it. Okay, so here we go. Any time now.
Okay, so we're holding the power and home buttons for 10 seconds. Now we release the power button and keep holding the home. And it should be completed. So there we are. Um, let me just pop the iTunes uh, message out of the way. So, Pornish Tool now says successfully entered DFU mode. Close the Pornish Tool application, start iTunes, and restore your custom firmware, which is on a desktop. So, we'll just click OK to that, and then we can close. And now we're back to the iTunes message. We're just going to click check for that. And um, it may pop up with this. That's, that's fine. Just click OK to it. And launch iTunes. And um, unplug your iPod. And then plug it back in again. And there we are. So um, it has been detected in recovery mode. We just click OK. And then we're going to click Shift Restore. Uh, no, sorry, Alt Restore. Shift is for Windows, but um, this is not available for Windows yet. Um, stay tuned uh, by subscribing because I'll probably have one out very shortly. So um, now we're going to search for the uh, desktop where it placed the um, firmware, the custom firmware. And it is this one, Custom Restore. And uh, we'll just wait for it to refresh and then click Open. And uh, there we are, extracting software. So um, it just goes through this 10 minute process probably possibly a bit longer and um, then it should be jailbroken so um, I'll come back to you when this is done okay so iTunes has finished restoring with the custom firmware and you'll uh, get this screen you're just going to need to set it up as a new iPod um, to save any problems and then just click continue then um, you can do whatever you want on here and then say done and um, then your iPod is going to be sync in progress and uh, then I will switch over to my camera and uh, show you what it will look like. Okay so here we are, um, my iPod touch and um, if I just see it is on 3.0 um, we have this spotlight and um, if this is how it starts off but um, everything is placed on the second page so if I scroll over one more time there we have Cydia and um, IC and um, if I just tap on IC and um, yep yeah, there we have it launched um, I haven't got a Wi-Fi yet because it's just finished restoring but um, yeah so uh, there we are and then you can move them onto your first page so it looks a bit neater and stuff. So there we have an iPod uh, Touch first generation on 3.0 jailbreaking. So um, thanks for watching and peace.